Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, and our ongoing study in 1 John and the commentary by Cruz. We're going to take a look at uh, chapter 4, the final verses of uh, 16 through 21, and it will conclude chapter 4. Let's begin with block 1, verses 16 and 17. And we begin with 16. We have known and believe the love that God has for us. And those who abide in love abide in God. And in the Greek, we have come to know and believe the love that God has in and for us. And the one abiding in love abides in God and God in him. And then verse 17, love has been perfected among us for this reason, that we have confidence in the day of judgment. Love has been eschatologically perfected, again, teleosis or teleology. Love has been eschatologically perfected with us. So we have confidence in the day of judgment. In the day of judgment. Hemera tes chryseas, the day of judgment. Now Cruz on 16 and 17, we know and can rely on the love God has for us. He completes his love with us as co-participants. So fear of final judgment is entirely removed. So it's all about the uh, complete casting away of fear of final judgment because God is perfecting his love within us. In other words, we are in Christ and Christ is in us. And Christ is perfecting his love in us, which will give us the potential and the power to completely cast off fear. Now we continue in the block 2, verses 18 and 19. The spirit of adoption defeats all fear. So now we get to the... Uh, concrete aspect about this absence of fear. Verse 18, there is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. For fear is about punishment. Whoever fears has not reached perfection. There's no fear in love. Eschatological love casts out fear. Again, teleosis or teleology. Eschatological love casts out fear because fear is about punishment. The one who is fearing has not been eschatologically perfected in love. And then verse 19, we love because he first loved us. We love because he first loved us. Now cruise on 18 and 19, God's love dispels our fear. And see Romans 8, 15, you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. You received the spirit of adoption. And then Matthew 25, 46, they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. As believers, we are raised to eternal life. Therefore, we do not fear final judgment. And now we move on to the last two verses in block three, verses 20 and 21. From Christ, we have received new commandments. Verse 20, those who say, I love God, but hate their brother are liars. Those who do not love cannot love God. If anyone should say, I love God, but hates a brother, he is a liar. For not loving means one is not 
able to love God. Dunatai, uk dunatai, one is not able to love God. One is uk dunatai, entirely unable to love God. Verse 21, the commandment we have from him is this, those who love God also love their brother. The commandment we have from him, loving God includes loving the Father. Now, Cruz, on the two verses, John brings up the theme of the Last Supper. John 14, 15, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. And then the famous John 13, 34, I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. John declares that's the entire theme of the Last Supper. Remember, the washing of the disciples' feet. The entire theme of the Last Supper was love one another through sacrificial feet washing type of love. Sacrificial love that is humble and giving and truly of God. So we get the excellent uh, final teaching for chapter 4 and appropriately enough it is all about first of all it's in Christ where we have confidence. And we know that because of a uh, Note 2, block 1, note 2, verse 17. Love has been perfected among us for this reason, reason that we have confidence in the day of judgment. Love has been eschatologically perfected. That's what is being said in block 1. John says, God's love during this realm of spirit, this time of spirit, is all about God's love perfecting itself in believers. It's all about having that eschatological perfected love with us. Then we have confidence in the Hemeritas Chryseas in the Day of Judgment. So it's all about uh, judgment, chryseos. Judgment is not something that a true believer fears because judgment is about putting things right according to the righteousness in Jesus Christ. Well, we don't fear that judgment because we are in Jesus Christ. And if we are in Christ, we are in his righteousness and we share that outlook of judgment that desires to put things right according to the teleology of God's kingdom, according to the eschatology of God's kingdom, the teleology that leads to the eschaton. And then block two, in block two it's more about, uh, I think it's more about Cruz's comment in block two. Go all the way down to note three, block two, note three. It's about Cruz and the verses he chose. Romans 8, 15, you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. You received the spirit of adoption. We have been adopted into God's kingdom as God's children. We have received the spirit of adoption. Then Matthew 25, 46, they will go away to eternal punishment. But the righteous, those who have received the spirit of adoption, they are raised to eternal life. So I love the references in Romans 8 and Matthew 25 for block 2. I think those uh, are very good cross-references given to us by Cruz. And then in block three, the last two verses, uh, it has to be basically about uh, the fact that uh, 
if we hate at all, at any level, if we have an attitude of hate at any level, then if you look at the, the notes, then uk dunatai, that means that we are entirely unable to even know what it means to love God. If we have any hate harboring in our heart, if any hate still dwells in our heart, then John says, uk dunatai, that one is not even able to know or to, or to love God. Com you are completely incapable of knowing or loving God. You are uk dunatai. That means you have been, you, all ability has been removed for you to know or to love God. Uk dunatai. So, and John is pointing that accusation at the Gnostics because he says the Gnostics claim to know God. And uh, John says, no, they hate those who will not accept their Gnostic philosophy. They reject and hate their fellow believers in what should be fellowship in Christ. So John says, they are not even able to comprehend or to love God. The Gnostics are uk dunatai, entirely unable to know or to love God. So it's a great final lesson here, 4, 16 through 21. It's going to wrap up chapter 4 of First John. Our next lesson we're going to pick up in the first five verses of chapter 5. And chapter 5 is the final chapter of First John. So next lesson, 5, 1 through 5.